guys, John here. Um, I'm just making this video cause I just to um, talk about a couple things I mentioned in my last video. Um, uh, mainly about, I said in my last video that I'm actually running a group with uh, nine players. And it's fun. It's it's fun. Playing with that many people is really fun and you really you get a lot of different ideas floating about the table. However, if you don't have kind of when you have all these people, everything kind of clashes, you know, like um You know, you have a lot of your heavy role players on one side and they're doing their, you know, their role playing thing. Then you got the guys over there who are like big hack and slash warriors. Me go, me go kill Goblin and go win. XP. Yeah, you have that. And then you have kind of the guys who, like, maybe like the new, the newbie player or the, and the players who aren't very no, no, not very noticeable who want to kind of role play, but you know they're kind of shy. So yeah, you got those problems, and you ha you get that in any group, really. Uh, uh, another thing is what I'm and really what my group is. My group has a lot of that problem, and also my group, and this was a problem they've always had in terms of checks. Uh, skill checks or ability checks is that you know if you know if I yell as the if I yell roll arcana or magic lord or nature or you know if I were to say roll those checks they all suddenly pick up their dice they all pick up a d20 and go ah oh, 15 ah oh, you know like what do I get it's like, it's a little disconcerting because uh, just as other players, you know, like the ranger should be making nature checks, you know, the mage should be making wizard, you know, magic checks, you know, like, really? Do we, do you all really need to make a check? And the answer is no, but for some reason my group kept doing it because it's help when it's really not, I, I don't know. My group's kind of gotten better last game. Uh, one of my players instituted kind of, all right, I'm writing down who's making all the checks, which is cool, cool. It stops the whole multiple check thing, but now it's like, damn. It, it kind of, uh, apologies for my curse word, it kind of, now it kind of blocks you and it kind of like, he makes this, he makes this check, he makes that check, which is okay. I mean, it keeps, it's good for my group to keep us kind of on task, but it's just, oh, and as you can imagine, this whole check situation with nine players goes nowhere because it's like, oh, I've got a 23, I've got a, I've got a 30, I've got a, I've got this, I've got that. It's like, I got a crit. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, sorry for my cursing again. Hope YouTube doesn't block me. And yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, the bigger the group, the more chaos breathes from it. Anyway, shifting from that tangent. As I said in my last video, I'm going to make my game, as I'm saying in my, my two previous videos, I'm making my game more wacky. And, uh, yeah, I'm just having a ball writing that stuff, you know, like, yeah, what could I sick? So, uh, and what I'm learning is I can't really use an encounter twice. Like, I've already, like, I mentioned once that I had my players fight grass, you know, the whole save versus grass, grass thing. Um, and that worked, but I tried doing it again last session, and... I can't I'm doing a twist with it, but it really doesn't work because the players expect it. So these little things that are wacky, you know, they have to be kind of special in a way. Like, they have to be really, really unique. I mean, that's not to say, like, things like the gold golems you can always use, you know, because they're gold golems. They're golems made out of treasure. Or, you know, 
even uh it's uh yeah yeah i mean certain things are special but stuff like grass or you know the walls like uh in first edition like first edition AD &D, they, they they were called uh trappers who were like the it was like a monster that was a floor. Well, you know, if you're going to do something like, you know, that should be like a special encounter. Or even like piercers. The uh, monsters that are like stalactites? Stalagmites? Yeah, and they fall and they, they fall from the ceiling and they pierce you. Pierce you, that's the name, piercer. You know, those things really should be kind of special. They shouldn't be kind of what you just kind of whip out. Even though I think in my mega dungeon I have like two floor, two room, two chambers devoted to piercers. But anyway. <laughs> Well, you know, they, they kind of have to be kind of this special thing. Uh, anyway, moving on from wackiness also. Oh, no, that's what I was on my camera. Um, another thing in, in terms of crazy D&D &D moments. Last session with my group, I had them fight basically the equivalent of the Raiders from Fallout. And they were kind of... I mean, they were up there as the levels. I mean, they were close to the PC... They were close to the players' levels, but not too close. My players were level 12. They were level 12. They were level 10. These Raiders. And they... could not hit them. They kept rolling low. Their rolls were, were low. They were not hitting. The, the raiders were killing them. And it was pretty funny because I'm like, and they're saying like, oh, you made these guys too hard. You made these guys too hard. It's like, no, these guys are not. These guys are easy. So, yeah. Needless to say, my group kind of didn't like me after that, even though, I don't know why. You know, they weren't that hard. But yeah, weird stuff happens when... <laughs> when your players get the higher levels, right? But yeah, this coming Saturday, I have another session planned. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be some more wacky science fiction stuff going on. Also, like I said, my party is now split in two groups, which actually, going back to nine having nine players, that really does make it easy. Um, splitting your group up. I know they always say, oh, don't split the party, but it's like, when you have nine people in your party, you can actually split that up. You can actually split that up really interestingly. It's into two groups, and they're just kind of like, okay, we're going that way, we're going that way. And so, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have some cool little interesting storylines built around that. And yeah, it's going to be fun. Anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, as always, I'm John. Happy gaming and please remember to and please remember to rate, comment and subscribe.